give your vector images a wiggle scribble look in Affinity and Resolve. Let's start in Affinity. I like to work in the Pixel Studio, but to achieve this effect, you can either be on the Vector or Pixel Studio, as long as you have access to the Layers panel. As you can see, I already have a vector layer in my document, and by the way, this effect works really well with line art type of vectors. The first thing we are going to do is to add a pixel layer on top of our vector layer. By default, the pixel layer will be probably empty. As we are going to use a procedural texture in a minute, which needs a filled layer, we are going to fill this pixel layer using the fill with foreground color feature from the pixel filters menu. You can also use the good old flood fill tool if you like. Now that our pixel layer has content and is selected, we can add the live procedural texture filter from the layers panel. In the filter dialog, let's select the Perlin noise preset and adjust the custom input so that we have a dark gray busy cloud noise. In my example, I'm using 16 for the octaves and 66 for the cell count. Don't worry too much about the end result as we can always come back and modify them as needed. The pixel layer in the procedural texture will be used as a source layer for the displace effect. So let's use the layers panel again to add the live displace filter. If the filter layer was selected before adding the filter, the displace filter might have been added as a child to the pixel layer. We need to make sure that the displace filter is above the pixel layer. In the displace filter dialog, we can now press the load map from layers beneath and as mentioned, the pixel layer with the Perlin noise will now become the displacement map for the filter. One thing to keep in mind is that the displacement map is a snapshot. So if we change the pixel layer, it will not automatically update the displacement map. Let's keep the displacement strength at 10 for now and close the dialog. When we hide the pixel layer, the displacement effect will be applied to our vector image. Pretty awesome. We can go back to the displace filter and adjust the strength to our needs. When you crank up the strength, you get cool distortion effects. But to get that subtle wiggle scribble effect, you probably have to keep the strength low. Usually a value of 10 or 9 works best. Here is our straight vector. And here is the wiggle scribble vector. Pretty cool. Optionally, you can go back to the pixel layer and adjust the Perlin noise parameters in the procedural texture and reload it in the displace filter as mentioned earlier. By the way, if you're not using Affinity and don't have the option to create a Perlin noise texture in your tool, you can use my free tool to create the noise texture. It also has a bit more features than the Affinity version, so if you want you can also copy and paste the generated texture directly into Affinity instead of using the pixel layer with the procedural texture. Link will be in the description. I might even extend the tool to do the wiggle effect directly on an image. Now let's switch to Resolve and make an animated version of this. After we created a new timeline, we need to add a fusion clip to the timeline which we can do by using the effects panel and searching for fusion clip. Now that our fusion clip is on the timeline and selected, let's switch to the fusion tab. We need a background first. By pressing shift space, we can open up the node search bar and use it to add the background node. This is our starting node and should be linked to our media out node. The next step is to get our SVG vector image into the composition, which we can do by using the fusion menu. When importing an SVG image, Resolve will ask for the image size to be used. Adjust it for your needs and press OK to import the vector image. We can then merge the vector group on top of the background. Awesome! To position and resize the vector, let's add a transform node after the vector group. I want the background to be white. To achieve that, we can easily change the color on the background node. The basic composition is now in place. Just like in Affinity, we need a Perlin noise generator and a displacement tool. The Perlin noise is called Fast Noise in Resolve, so let's add that to the node tree. For the displacement, we can use the Displace node. We can then plug in the Displace node after the merge, just before the media out. As a final step, we can now link the Fast Noise to the Displace node to drive the displacement. 
A cool part of Resolve compared to Affinity is that the effects are real-time. We can now adjust the fast noise and the displacement will automatically refresh. Just like in Affinity, a grey darkish condensed cloud noise works great. As we want to animate the wiggle effect, we can set the seeth rate to 1, meaning that for each frame rate the noise will be regenerated, so that each frame will have a different wiggle. Once you're happy with the effect of the noise, you probably would need to make a change in the displace node. Instead of using the radial type, we could use the XI type and adjust the X and I refraction values. When we play our animation, the wiggle effect is a bit wobbly. For the wiggle animation, a more abrupt change in the wiggle works better. We can achieve that by adding a stop motion node after the displace node. That looks much better. The animation is set up now and we can go ahead and fine tune the elements to our liking. Pretty cool. Hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and see you in the next video.